I had gotten a question about a transistor amplifier that uses a push-pull circuit in the output stage to drive the speaker. And this is one diagram of that type of audio amplifier. All the way to the left, that's where the audio signal is applied. And that goes over to the volume control. And of course, depending on where the volume control is set, determines how much of that signal goes through the capacitor and gets applied to the base of the first transistor. This first transistor will amplify the signal to drive the primary of the transformer, but notice the phase of that amplified signal. It is 180 degrees out of phase from the signal that is applied to the base. This amplified signal that's driving the primary of the first transformer, that energy is going to be magnetically coupled to the secondary. And if you take a look at the center tap of that secondary, it is going to ground. So I put a transformer very similar to this one on the workbench and hooked up a signal source to the primary. That's the yellow wires. And then on the secondary, I have that center tap going to the ground of the oscilloscope and the top green lead is going to channel 1 and the bottom red lead to channel 2. And this is what the signal looks like on the scope. Channel 1's on top Channel 2, of course, is on the bottom, but notice that at the top of the transformer, the green lead is 180 degrees out of phase on the other lead at the bottom, the red lead. This is very important in making a push-pull circuit work. It, the signal driving the next stage must be 180 degrees out of phase. In the diagram, this is where the signals are that are 180 degrees out of phase. Each get applied to the bases of the next stage transistors. Those transistors then amplify the signal again, but notice again the phase has changed from what's on the base to the signal at the collector. Now this is where the push-pull comes in effect. I'm going to mark the output transformer like this. Put a green dot on the top of the transformer the lead and a red one at the bottom. And when the top transistor, when the phase is at the highest, the most positive, take a look at the bottom one. It is at the most negative. So what that means is we have the widest swing of voltage possible between the green and the red point. 
Now when we take a look at the signal at the top when it is in this configuration the most negative we take a look at the bottom it is at the most positive and again the result of this push-pull is that we now have the highest possible swing of voltage between the red and the green dot. So this is how the circuit got its name, push-pull. If the top half is pushing, the bottom is pulling, and vice versa, assuring that there will always be the widest voltage swing between the top of the transformer and the bottom of the transformer, or the green and red dot. Thanks for watching.